Hey guys, what's up? Jared here with One of the Nation's Rage. Coming to you from Walton County. No, this isn't a location video. This is actually my uh, my bi-weekly vlog for you guys. Just got out of uh, physical therapy and am now headed to my mother's house to pick up my sons whom she kept yet again during my visit to physical therapy. Uh, thanks for watching this video. In case you're not familiar with my vlog, my vlogging videos, basically what I do instead of doing a vlog every day or every week or every month, what I'll do is a vlog every two weeks because I feel like that's a, that's just enough time uh, in between videos for things to be updated and for new news to come in. I'll let you know what I've been up to, uh, what my plans are for the future, um, different details of my life. Not every detail, but just different details of my life. Um, that I feel like you guys would, would find interesting. Um, I noticed also that in, so far in the, uh, the last two vlog videos that I did, I talked an awful, awful lot about my knee. And I'm sorry about that. It's just, uh, <clears throat> it's just one of those things that, you know, I'd rather not deal with it I'd rather just forget about it but it's one of those things that I have to deal with every day unfortunately um, it just it doesn't go away but I'm not gonna talk about my knee in this video other than just letting you know that I'm not gonna talk about it instead uh, I just wanted to to go over a few things with you that you may find interesting. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna go back to work at this point. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment in mid to late March, just before my birthday. I think it's March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, around in that time. I have a doctor's appointment. Uh, so I don't know what's gonna happen between now and then. But I have some more time clearly that I'm going to be out of work and not going to work. Therefore, I'll have time to, uh, to make videos and, and do whatever else. Of course, I've got to take care of my responsibilities, which if you watch my videos, you know one of my main responsibilities is, uh, is taking care of Jonah every day while my wife is at work. So I'll be doing that, uh, of course. Another responsibility is that I am a musician, I'm, I'm the guitar player at the church that I go to, and I have to uh, keep up with the, the practice and everything and the new songs that we learn, and, you know, just practicing for that so that I can play guitar on Sunday during our church services, and uh, so I have different responsibilities. But in between those responsibilities, there's something that I'd like to do. Uh, I used to paint quite a bit, and I just, I, I kind of abandoned my practice of painting. It's been years since I, since I painted on a, on a regular, consistent basis. And I would really like to get back into painting. Uh, I started watching videos about it yesterday on YouTube because there's lots of how-to and tutorial videos on painting on YouTube and I was really inspired and I feel like I, I learned some new things yesterday and I feel like those things that I learned could have been holding me back quite a bit and that's why I walked away from and abandoned painting uh, per se initially. I've got a few paintings in my possession that I did several years ago, and I 
have some that are that are um, incomplete that I just left incomplete. I like to finish those. And I've always told myself, you know, one day I'm going to get around to doing this. I'm going to get around to to finishing these paintings. And so I'd like to do that. Uh, and I got to thinking about it more. And it's really hard for me to stay motivated when it comes to stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy painting a lot. I, I love to paint. I love creativity. I love art. Just like I love music and I love to play guitar. Well, I love to paint as well. And I, mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to sound conceited or anything like that, but I do feel like I have a talent and I'm somewhat good at it. Just like I have a, a talent at guitar and I'm somewhat good at guitar. Well, it's the same way with painting. And I got to thinking about that. I got to thinking about uh, what it says in the Bible. Actually, uh, the, the parable of the talent, which is basically uh, when Jesus gave the disciples this parable about three different people in the Bible. Uh, this is in the Bible, but basically a story of three different people. And they were given... One was given ten talents. Isn't that right? Either five or ten talents. One was given three talents. Or five talents. I can't remember the exact number. But basically, one was given ten, one was given five, and one was given one. Well, the one that was given ten talents used those talents and his talents multiplied all right to double and then the one that had five talents used his and his multiplied to double but the one that had only one talent didn't use his talent he said he buried it in the ground he was afraid to use it and basically the the people that used their talents were gifted uh, and blessed in the long run and they were given even more so what was given to them was increased all right then the one that didn't use his talent was actually rebuked and told to leave the presence of the king well I got to thinking about that and if playing guitar is a talent of mine and painting is a talent of mine. Well, just that very parable in itself is enough to motivate me to use my talents. And not everything that I do is going to sound good or look good. I have to uh, be consistent with it. I need practice. I need uh, to do it on a regular basis. And the more that I practice my talents, the better I'll get at them. And I believe that it'll bring me increase. It's something that I want to do, most definitely. I love creativity. I love being creative, creating new things. I love it when I when I make up something on the guitar and I actually uh, work on it until it's an actual song. I have written several songs on the guitar. Uh, also, the paintings that I told you about. I've done several paintings, several pieces of art I've done in my lifetime and so I want to get back into painting I really do maybe I'll maybe I'll even uh, incorporate the videos into it I'll do paintings of videos I don't know a whole lot about technique when it comes to painting I don't know a whole lot about it but I do know a, a, a little bit enough uh, to maybe give someone out there who's interested now, don't get me wrong, there are experts out there who make YouTube channels and videos about different techniques when it comes to painting, and they're amazing painters. So you might want to check them out before you check any video that I, I do. Uh, I'm still at that intermediate kind of phase when it comes to it. But I still enjoy it just as much. So, I really want to use my talents to glorify God. And, you know, it's like a dream of mine that, that, I, can, that I can do that and, 
and survive off of it. Now, I, I know that that's not realistic, and I'm not saying that it's a fantasy or something that I, I uh, daydream in throughout the day, and I, I'm out of touch with reality. Now, obviously, I know that there's a practical uh, solution out there as far as supporting yourself and supporting your family. And you can't depend on creativity. Not everybody can depend on creativity to support themselves or to support their families. So I know that there is a practical approach to it. I talked a lot about uh, becoming a truck driver and uh, that's something that I really want to do. I feel like it's practical. I feel like it'll definitely help support the family and it's something that I really want to pursue. And I got to thinking, uh, if I am a truck driver and, and uh, over the road truck driver, which that's pretty much my only option for the first year at least, if I do become a truck driver, then I will be on long trips. When I work, when I go out and drive, I'll be on the road. I'll be on the road for weeks and weeks at a time. Now, legally, a truck driver can only drive 11 hours a day, I think it is, in the States. Uh, legally, a truck driver can only drive... Hang on a second. I'm going to try to fix, fix the camera here. I noticed it's shaking. All right. Hopefully that'll, that'll help it. Uh, a truck driver legally can only drive 11 hours a day, as far as I know. All right. Um, that and there's a certain amount of time that a driver can go for before he takes days off. It's called resetting. And I don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know the rules precisely. I know a little bit about the rules uh, in, in the United States for truck drivers. I know that every six or seven days, the driver has to reset, which means they have to go a period of time without being behind the wheel, without driving the truck. Uh, it's called resetting. I think it's about 36 hours that they have to go. So they have to go at least a day and a half. After they've driven six or seven days in a row continuously, they have to go at least a day and a half and take that time off without driving. So that's the thing. You see, when you're an on the, when you're an over the road truck driver, Yes, you're working all the time. You're driving most of the time. But you also have a lot of free time in between your shifts of driving. All right? And being on the road like that and not having much to do, not having anything to do, basically that's what your sleeper is for in your, uh, your truck. You have a bed in the back you have amenities inside of there it's almost like a home away from home right? it's as close as you're going to get um, so you'll find that a lot of truck drivers just hang out at truck stops on their off time they can't go home because they're still in the middle of carrying their load to its destination right they just have to wait until they can start driving again to get closer to their destination. So they're basically just stranded at a truck stop sitting there doing whatever to occupy themselves. So I thought about that and I realized that, hey, that's a lot of time of just being stuck in a truck. And I thought about that and I, I it came to me, hey, if I were a truck driver, I could paint. I could paint in my free time. When I'm on the road, over the road, whatever, I can paint. During the times when I'm stuck, I can't go anywhere, I'm just basically waiting for my next shift to start, I can paint in my truck, whatever. Uh, I can use that time to do something constructive and creative. And that, that, that's really awesome because I found that, you know, when I'm by myself, when I have free time by myself, that's when most of my creativity comes out, actually. 
my mind just flows. I let my imagination uh, flow fluently, and I come up with thoughts. I come up with ideas, and so that's awesome. I feel like uh, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy that quiet, peaceful time by myself to do something constructive like painting. So what do you guys think about that? I think that would be awesome. I think I'd be able to come up with some pretty nice uh, works over the road doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree that after so long, after so many weeks being on the road, anybody would be ready to get home. But, you know, that's just something that I could do in between time without being bored, without being lonely, without being sad, uh, without getting into trouble or something that I shouldn't get into. I could do something constructive and creative like that and glorify God by doing those things. After all, the talents come from God. God gives each one of us talent, right? So, I think that's a good idea. Um, I've never really heard of that. I've never really heard of truck drivers painting in their spare time, uh, doing works of art in their spare time, but it's possible, you know. And, you know, I, if I do do this, then I do uh, intend on uh, keeping you guys connected. If I do become a truck driver, I intend on keeping you guys posted and keeping you guys connected when I'm over the road. I'll do videos on the road. Um, it might not be your average cliche truck driving channel, vlog, whatever, like you see so many of on YouTube. It'll be different than that. But I think that's cool. I think that's interesting. I can show you guys different parts of the country. Uh, I can definitely still do the videos in my spare time. I don't see why I couldn't do that, unless the company that I work for has some kind of policy against it, which would suck, uh, but it is what it is, you know. But yeah, I mean, what, what do you guys think about that? I think that's a really cool idea. So other than that, um, I'll just let you know that not a lot, not a whole lot has changed since the last vlog that I did. There's really not a whole lot to update you with, except for that. Um, I'm still waiting on getting my guitar back out of pawn that I told you guys I had to pawn when uh, the company that I worked for, the, the workers comp or whatever, didn't send the paycheck that they were supposed to send that week. And we had no money, so I had to pawn my guitar. I'm still trying to get my guitar out. Once I get my guitar out, I'll try to do some videos with it, uh, just showing you some basic stuff on the guitar. So all of you who are interested in that, stay tuned for that. Uh, I got a Bible vlog that I'll be posting in the next few days. Uh, I didn't do a location video this past weekend. And I'm sorry about that. I just simply didn't have the time. Those are the videos that may not happen as frequently as as I would like them to happen. But, you know, they're going to be few and far between. I'll try to make them as interesting as I can when I do put them out there. Um, and I'm sorry that I didn't do one this past weekend. Maybe I'll be able to do one this weekend. I don't want to promise you anything because I don't like... Uh, falling back on my promises. So I'm not going to promise a location video this weekend, but I will promise to try to do it. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. I thank you for watching my channel. Uh, I'm happy that you're interested. I'm happy that you're entertained. You know, whatever I can do to make these videos more pleasing to the eyes and the ears and, and more entertaining. To give you a good laugh or whatever. You know, to give you some drama, to give you some interesting information, maybe some science, and definitely, definitely uh, the Word of God, stuff like that. Um, so you guys take care. It's nice uh, doing this. I hope 
to see you watching my video again soon, my videos again soon. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I hope you keep continuing to watch my videos as I post them. There we go. Thank you again for watching. If you wish to contact me, ask me any questions or give me any comments, any complaints or whatnot, simply go to youtube.com forward slash why do the nations rage question mark with no spaces and hit enter you can leave a comment on my channel uh, if you're a youtube user if you're not a youtube user but a facebook user go to facebook.com forward slash why do the nations rage no spaces no question mark hit enter it'll take you to the uh, facebook why do the nations rage channel page or one of the nation's rage community page where you can leave a comment so there you go enjoy have a nice day try to stay warm oh yeah that's another thing uh what do you guys think about this cold weather we're having did anybody experience the ice storm i'll post a video about the ice storm i i, I saw uh whole bunch of ice today on my way to, to physical therapy and I got a short video about that so I'll be posting that. Check it out. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Alright, God bless.